Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing more Love Esquire. So we're going to dive in here. I got on a super red shirt today. I don't think it's supposed to be this red. It's super awkward. So what I've decided with this playthrough is we're going to do basically just a blind playthrough and do our best. And then, depending on a few things, I might do like clips of the other people that I don't see in this playthrough. Like Giselle, you know? So we'll see. It depends. I want you guys to experience this game. I want you to support the developers and... And make sure that uh, you enjoy the game yourself. So I don't want to reveal too much. But we'll see. So, wow. So that's going to take four normie modes. Well, we need to do it. We need to do it. Where is... What's today? Oh, it's Saturday. Okay, so we can't do anything today anyway. Or we can't go on a campaign today. So we'll have to do just some training. Four hours. What is she doing here? What are you doing here? Hey. So we can't talk about anything with her anymore. I guess we can give her a gift though. She doesn't. I don't think she likes tulips. I think she's okay with old silverware. A gift? You didn't have to, you know. Huh. She likes old silverware. Old, rusty, slobbered on, gross, nasty. What a weirdo. Who would enjoy that gift? That's weird. Let's go see if we can talk to Kamala. I don't think we can. Ah, Squire. Come, let us engage in the conversation. So if we do work, we have to talk about other things. And if we do Why, hello, town, there, we have to talk about other things. Let's see if we can buy her a gift. Greetings. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? Well, I've had the pleasure of passing by your farm recently. I must say, it's very beautiful. Thank you. Tell me, how do you manage to grow such lush crops? You'd have to ask Amy, I'm sure. To be honest, I have no idea. I usually just do random chores back home. But if you really want to know, just ask Pops and Amy. Like I said. Oh, I did ask your sister once. She mentioned a rather bizarre technique. She talks. She talks to the vegetation. Yeah, it's awkward for everybody. The talking to plants thing, huh? It is weird, but hey, it works. And your father, what is his technique? He told me he works every day. I think he just punches the ground until the crops bloom. Well, not every day. He likes to go to boss's place every now and then. Ah, oh, yes, the tavern. The perfect place to unwind. It definitely is. So, about those items. Oh, of course. Take a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot I was even buying a gift. She talks so much. This no, no, no. This face has some pretty items for sale. No. Oh. Um, alluring cosmetics. Girls love makeup. A necklace. You think she would like a necklace? A grimoire? I can't imagine. Oh, a jewel box. Oh. Thank you. Let's for try the this. I'm gonna give her a jewel box. Squire, come, let us engage in the co What a luxurious gift for you to give, Squire. I think she liked it. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, ten points. Nine plus two, that's eleven. <laughs> okay, so she likes the jewelry box. Why is yes. she upset? What do you want? Greetings, princess. Okay, we can do more talking with her. You know, I was having a splendid day until a certain sparrow decided to disrupt my thoughtful silence. By cawing or? Oh, sweet. I didn't know you were into bird watching. I see metaphors elude you. Yep, I've been training my agility. I can dodge metaphors too. <laughs> I never mind. <laughs> Are you okay, princess? As of late, I fear that the crown's relationship with the people has become a bit complicated. Hmm, that's curious. It is the job of a princess to do what she thinks is best for her people. Right on. And yet, 
the people do not always see eye to eye with royalty. Imagine yourself a bird keeper, scattering seed across the garden to feed your pets. You hold a bag of food and ration it accordingly. For if you are too wasteful with the seed, you will eventually run out, and the birds will starve. I get it. Yet the birds do not consider this. They see the bag of seed you are holding and claim that their master is keeping food from them. Mm -hmm. Such is the burden of a ruler. It can be quite a thankless task. But it is a queen's duty to do what she thinks is right for the people. But, but queens don't take care of birds. <laughs> He's an idiot. We need to talk. About birds? Fertility God, help me. <laughs> I guess all that training at the library isn't doing too much for my, uh, my intellect. Um. Relationship with man dress is increased. Great. Great. So, we can give her Again. a gift, too. Fine, but be quick about it. Let's try, let's try the flower for her. I don't know. I appreciate the gesture, squire. Oh, good. Pretty girls like flowers. I was pretty sure, but somebody didn't like the flower. I don't remember who it was. Okay, so it's one o'clock. We can go train. Let's go train in the barracks. We haven't done a lot of, like, strength training. I feel like we could we could brush up on that. Yeah, we need to brush up on that a lot a bit. It's time to get good. Oh, man, we got to do this a lot. Okay. I'll do more next time. I promise. The problem with this is it takes so long to get over here. What a pain in the ass. We'll go to the tavern because we still got time. But we can't train. We can just talk oh. to Belle. Didn't we already try hey. this? Oh, yeah, we did. Damn. Well, I guess we could go talk to Amy, maybe. Oh, except she's not there anymore. Okay. Go home, go to bed. That's what we're going to do. That's what we got to do. Rest and save. I'm glad that they gave us extra slots now. That way, if I mess up this episode, I can load back that one and just redo this. <sighs> I had some technical difficulties today. Today. Oh, let's check the calendar. Okay, so first, our relationship with Giselle and Beatrice is a little low. I don't know. Do we focus on one girl? or I, I still don't know for sure. What is this? We're on the 25th, so nothing's going on until the end of the month. Then we have to go see what's his face. Hugh. We have to see Hugh at the end of the month for our evaluation. Mm -hmm. Bessie's milk obtained. Amy's out here again. Looks like something caught her attention. What are you looking at, Amy? Check it out, bro. A dandelion. That's strange. I don't usually see him around these parts. It must have traveled pretty far to get here. Good job, Dandelion. Look at you growing so far from home. <laughs> Tiny little thing, poking its head out of the ground, trying so hard to look tough. Putting a lot of... A lot of, like, humanity into that thing. <laughs> kind of like Hugh's ego. <laughs> well, true, but that wasn't what I was getting at. Oh, oh, let me blow it. I want to blow it. Is that what you say when you're training with Hugh? Oh, ouch. Ha ha. Very funny. I'll show you. <sighs> I blow on the dandelion. The seeds scatter in the air. Whee! <laughs> Aw, why'd you do that? You just scattered the little things all over the field. What's wrong with that? They're weeds, damn it. One is okay, but I ain't dealing with dozens of those things popping up on our farm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oops. How was I supposed to know? I, I just thought it would look cool. Ugh, is that all you're good for? Spread your friggin' seed in places you shouldn't? <laughs> hey, I'm good for other things, too. Good looks, an excellent personality, and my dashing smile. Keep dreaming, bro. And Amy's pretty harsh sometimes. 50 points. Jeez, that's 65 total. That's insane. Okay, so let's go... 
see what's going on here. Ah, so there's something going on over here. So I guess we'll go, because I guess we raised our relationship enough with Beatrice that uh, we get a cutscene with her now. Hmm, seems like Hugh isn't around yet. Maybe I could fool around for a bit. Oh, nice. Targets! I've always wanted to shoot an arrow. Legends say that Sir Grand killed five bandits with just one arrow. Using her teeth. I hope I can live up to that. Let's see. Hmm. Steady. Aim. Ha! Yes! Bullseye! <laughs> I'm a genius. Good job. Thank you. Oh! Hey here. Did you see that? You seem to have a knack for archery. I just wish you weren't shit at everything else. No. <laughs> hey! I'll get better. Besides, there are knights known for their archery. Those same knights are known for their sword skills, too. But that's enough for now. There's something else you need to do. Like what? Patrol duty! Patrol duty? But that's boring! No buts. It's part of your training. You can't be serious. I am serious. Don't you want the exposure? Some of Cerulea's most famous knights used to be guards. <laughs> that sounds like a load of ball. Well, you're still doing this whether you like it or not. Fine. Are you at least coming with me? Me? Hell no. I've got more important stuff to do. <laughs> like escorting the princesses, for example. You just want Princess Kamala for yourself. Oh, me? What could I possibly gain from being left alone with an incredibly attractive princess? <laughs> Weasel. Well, I've got to run. Duty calls. Yeah, yeah, have fun. Sucker, you think I can't ditch this training of yours? Oh, and don't even think about ditching. I already told the guard captain about you. Damn. Did he read my mind? You... Sometimes I wish you weren't too serious about my future. <laughs> well, it's too bad that I care. Now, go on. Street crime won't fight itself. Fine, fine. Okay, so we're at 10 o'clock. Damn it. This really... Hey, Captain. Is this always a thing? Huh? What do you mean? You know, standing around, doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, I know what you mean. We do get the occasional thieving street rat. I'll holler if we're trying to catch one. Thanks, man. Boy, I hope we get some action soon. Say it loud! Say it clear! What the hell? Oh, Just shoot the spot Aww, that's mean. Would you look at that, kid? You got what you wanted. Yeah, what, a street mob? Crowd's coming in, and they do not look happy. Squire, let's handle this mess. Handle this? There's just the two of us. What if they fight back? Do they have pitchforks? Uh, no. Then they're harmless. I don't think that's how this works. Don't sweat it, kid. I've seen worse mobs before. This won't be a problem. Hey, you want to take the lead? I'll back you up. Jumping Lady of the Lake, are you serious? Think of this as on-the-job experience. If you get stabbed, don't worry. The infirmary's right over there. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, wait! Okay, so... That jerk just shoved me. Well, I've got no choice. Let the Alcozy pay! Oh, man. Um, hello there. What seems to be the problem, sir? The problem, boy? It's this damned alliance with Alcos. We demand an audience with a princess. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll probably need an appointment. Don't you sir me. The princess will hear about this now. What in Cerulea is going on? I wonder... You! You gotta help me. Why do they have a problem with the Alcosi? We've got a bunch of Alcos haters over here. Sir Hugh, what is all this commotion? A mob, your highness. It's not safe here. Especially for Princess Kamala. Yeah. Is something the matter, Beatrice? Justice is in order! It's been, been too long! long. It's justice! justice! You should stay back. These people are not happy to see you. 
Beatrice, if I may aid in this situation, I appreciate the gesture, Kamala. But these are my subjects. I... I understand. Don't worry, Princess. We'll deal with this. Right, Sir Grand? Holy crap. Your order, Princess? At ease, both of you. I will handle this situation. She will? Your Highness, you shouldn't... Are you ordering me around, Sir Hugh? Because I believe that is my job, not yours. I... I only advise caution, Your Highness. Yes, yes. I'll be quite all right. <laughs> Sir Grand, please do something about this noise. <laughs> As you command. Don't be too harsh. Is there a way to... Jeez, that's a... <laughs> that's, that's a big person. Sir Grand boldly takes the front line like a badass. Silence! Oh, shit. That shuts him up. Some of them even back away and leave. The princess will now hear of your grievances. Let the leader of this group step forth. Mm-hmm. Make yourself known, good sir. The name's Edmund. I trained the militia in Bordemer. And I defended her when those Alcozy scum went on a rampage. Sir Edmund, yes, I know you. You did what you could for the town. And I'll be damned if Bordemer doesn't get the justice it deserves. And what justice would you have me do? You know damn well what to do, princess. Make Alcos pay for Bordemer. And why should they? Why? Th th they're responsible. That's why. Do you have any proof of this? Those damned pirates were out cozy. The same pirates plaguing their own kingdom. Now, what of it? Then why did we get the shitty end of things? It's not our fault. They can't handle their own bad eggs. Is the crown's aid not enough for Bordemer, Sir Edmund? Would you have me waste half of the kingdom's treasury for its restoration? What I want is just some bloody accountability. That's all. Hey, Princess Kamala, own up to your father's mistakes. Sir Edmund, we are at war. We need all the resources we can get to defeat the Gegners. Mm, yeah, that's true. If we lose, there will be no Bordemer and no home for any of us. Mm -hmm. Did you forget? Or does that dreadful patch of rodent fur you have for a mustache blind you from seeing the bigger picture? Oh shit. <laughs> She's going after his looks. Lord Flankman was right. You are like your father. Ooh. It is you, princess, who are blind. Blinded by a cozy wealth. Damn, he's about to get himself thrown in in the jail. The nerve! How dare you bring my father into this? Listen here, you bristly buffoon! I have heard quite enough of your whining! I will not waste the rest of my day dealing with you miserable lot. Hm. Good day, sir. I've seen a lot of snooty nobles during my time, but this girl's something else. B -b Bristly? I spent at least an hour trimming this mustache. Why, you... you... I'd have thrown him in the jail for the night, man. Name calling now, are we? Clearly, that mustache does not reflect any wisdom that comes with maturity. You started it! Sir Hugh, I leave the rest of this mess to you. We will be heading back to the castle. By your command, Princess. We will not be silenced! Justice! Yes! All right, break it up. <laughs> Crazy. It takes a while, but Hugh and I drive back the mob with the help of some guards. They were a stubborn bunch, but I'm glad it didn't turn into a brawl. Phew, that was, uh, something. Well, look at that, kiddo. Looks like patrol duty wasn't so boring after all. I should be careful what I wish for. That was a pain to deal with. Expect more of this. As long as the Alliance Treaty isn't signed, there'll be opposition. But at least you know how to deal with an angry mob now. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. They can't be reasoned with. I'll see you around then. And that's true today. You can't you can't reason with an angry mob. It's just they 
They've got it in their heads, you know? Can't dissuade them. Right. That's enough for today. I guess I should head back. Are you serious? Mom. Was it that bad? It was pretty nuts, I guess. Definitely. They even brought up her father. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> that was me. Then what? She got angry, of course. As usual, if only the king wasn't sick. This is why we need a man on the throne, not a... Shh! Someone might hear. Well, she is pretty harsh. I'll give him that. Kind of hard to deal with as well. Eh. I've had enough of this place. I could use a drink. Alright. So Beatrice, wow. Wow, 130 points. That's that's a lot. Beatrice has felt closer to you. Oh. Um, the only one that's not yellow, uh, uh close to us is Be uh uh Giselle. Giselle's rough, man. I guess we can go talk to her. She's probably my least favorite so far. I don't know. I guess if you open her up, she's probably not so bad. Y yes Giselle, look. I know you love the infirmary, but are there any other places you like? Archives. Oh, you like reading books too? Yes. Well, I guess that should have been obvious. I mean, you do seem like the bookish type. Uh, did I say something wrong? I didn't mean it as a bad thing. I mean, I read books every now and then too. You do? Yep. Gotta work those brain muscles. <laughs> That's surprising. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, so we'll try and raise our relationship with her a little bit. You again? A potion. Stop getting things from the infirmary. Oh no, she's mad at us. Oh, she took it too. <laughs> okay, well. Now we know. So let's go to... There's no training we can do here. There's nothing we can do other than talk to... Okay, that's too bad. Um, Let's go back to the barracks and train here, and then we have to go home. Woo! I can feel the burn! We wasted the day um, increasing our relationship with that's Beatrice. Today. The princess. Also, we need to go on a campaign pretty soon. Because although we did get a lot of money on the last one, we're kind of running a little low. Alright, let's head home. Should get there before midnight? Yes. For sure. And to sleep. And we'll save. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's see. Is there any more dialogue that we can do with? Oh, our sister's not here. Okay. We obtained the milk from Bessie. Ah, there's another event. Oh, that's pretty cool. With Sis. Uh, and here's Hugh wandering around Whoa. out. Is there a party here or something? Oh, yeah. Is there, is there like a special thing going on? What's going on? Quick, help me out. We've got a lot of people coming in for the market fair. Oh, it is? It's today? I didn't know it was today. Oh, yeah. As promised, I'm here to help. Okay, so we got the garden herbs over here. Uh-huh. Carrot bundles are all packed. Yep. Cabbages are looking great. All right. And the apple pies are ready to go. Oh, perfect. Everything's set. Woo, just in time, bro. The crowds are starting to come. You ready, bro? Today's the day. Yep. Don't worry, sis. I got this. Let's see. Yo, come on and buy from us. We're awesome and stuff. We've got apple pies. Try some of our apple pies. They're delicious. And if you don't think so, you've got shit taste. <laughs> you there, you like vegetables? They'll help you lose weight. <laughs> no. You saying I'm fat? <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, we got fresh milk too. Freshly squeezed from old Bessie's tits. 
Um, no thank you. How about some farming equipment? We got plows, watering cans, and hoes. Who wants a hoe? You there. You look like the kind of guy who could use a hoe right now. <laughs> <sighs> He's not amused. Would you stop making everything sound lewd, bro? And I told you to fix yourself up. Stop slouching. Aren't Squire supposed to look classy all the time? Ooh, whatever. And look, that tunic you're wearing, it needs to be washed. Also, would it kill you to comb your hair once in a while? I can barely even see your face. What are you talking about? I look gorgeous. Um, hello? Oh, hey there. Welcome to our shop. Hey there. You look like the kind of guy who could use a hoe. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Ah! Why aren't you two quite the pair? Squabbling like an old married couple. M married couple? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean anything by that. I just think you make a cute pair. That's all. A cute pair, huh? Way to make it weird. Thanks, but we're not really a couple or anything. Yo, mister. She's my sister. Stepsister, actually. My father adopted him when he was young. I didn't know I was adopted. Oh, wait a second. I know you. You're Arnold's kids, aren't you? Yep. My, my. Children do grow up so fast. Anyway, by any chance, are those apple pies you're selling? Of course. The finest in Cerulea. <laughs> really now? That's quite the boast. I'll have you know that I've eaten quite a number of apple pies in my time. Hmm. Very well, then. I'll take one. Bro, pass me a pie. Already on it, sis. One apple pie packed and ready to go. That's quite some teamwork you got going on there. Step siblings or not, you two make a good pair. Just like me and my wife when we were younger. <laughs> oh, but there I go again, rambling on about the good old days. Anyway, I won't slow you kids down any longer. I'm off to treat myself to this lovely apple pie. Aw, what a nice guy. <laughs> oh, more coming, bro. Quick, get ready. Oh, it's Kamala. Oh, hey, isn't that? Princess Kamala! Uh, oh, why, hello there. I am overjoyed to find out that your country also has a festival dedicated solely to the shopping. <laughs> I bet you are. It seems that our countries have more in common than I thought. A whole day of shopping? Ah, oh, truly. Cerulea is a nation after my own heart. Welcome to our shop, princess. Ah, yes. And you are his sister, yes? Y yes, his stepsister, actually. It's an honor to have you, princess. It is a pleasure. <laughs> what a quaint little shop you have here. Ah, and what is this strange pastry you have here? She never had pie before? That's weird. My special apple pies, princess. Finest in Cerulea. Oh, they look absolutely delicious. By the smell of it, it seems like you have even added cinnamon. You can thank Amy for that, princess. It's her handiwork. Very nice. Your work is indeed handy. <laughs> thank you very much, princess. Though, it is a pity that such spices are used so sparingly here in Cerulea. In Alcos, our marketplaces are brimming with desserts made with all manner of spices. Oh, I see. Well, yeah, it's a little more expensive here. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I did not mean to offend. Your skill at baking these pies is quite notable. I merely wish to state that obtaining spices here in Cerulea can be quite difficult. Nice save. Oh, but not to worry. I shall fix that soon enough. <laughs> oh, it's fine, princess. None taken. Is there anything we can help you with, princess? Well, actually, I was wondering. If you have the time, I wish to request you to escort me around the festival. I wish to see it through the eyes of a local. Sure, no problem, princess. It's my duty as a squire to serve. Oh, Amy doesn't look too happy about it. Um, bro. What? What are you doing? I need you here. Oh, yeah. But it's my duty as a squire to help out the princess. But you promised. 
Okay, we're going... We're actually going after... Uh, Kamala, so I guess... I guess we'll choose that. But sis! She's the princess. I'm a squire. It's my duty to serve guests of the crown. But if we were going after Amy, we would want to stay with Amy. Plus, she's hot! <laughs> yeah. Why, thank you, squire. Do ease? As if, bro. I know exactly what you're thinking. Shh! Not so loud, sis. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, your highness. We were just... It is quite all right. But it seems to me that you are also busy. I do not wish to be an unnecessary burden. But besides, as an independent princess of Alcos, I should have no problem navigating the Cerulean marketplace on my own. So I think we made the wrong decision because this is one of Amy's scenes. We want to do everything for Amy. Um, are you sure that's okay, princess? Nope. Of course, I do not wish to distract you from your duties. Tending shops is truly a very important task. After all, without merchants, there would be no shopping. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what a horrible world that would be. Well then, I am sorry for interrupting your business. I shall see myself to the textiles quarter. Onwards! Oh, okay. See you, princess. Oh, she's not happy. Well, it's not every day you see a princess walking around the plaza. That's pretty cool of her, though. Yeah, right. Are you okay, Amy? It's just that you seemed pretty eager to leave me back there. What? Well, it's because she's royalty. I mean, she's the friggin' princess of Alcos. When did you start caring so much about nobles? Well, I... It's not that. Besides, Princess Kamala seems like she's a pretty nice person. She's not like all the other snooty noble types we have around here. I know that. She seems nice. But it's not about her. Um, excuse me? I don't think you've noticed, but there's been a long line growing outside your stall. Uh-oh. Oh, yes! <laughs> sorry! Yes, sorry. Look what you did, bro. What I did? Just pass me the cabbages. I need four heads. Right. Four heads coming up. All right, so we got less relationship points than we would have if we had chosen the right thing. That's okay. New topics with... Oh! So that's how we get to new topics. Wow, that's really hard weapons, to do. Weapons! Weapons and armor! Help yourself to McMallet's Traveling Weapons Store! Oh look, it's one of those traveling merchants. You there, boy! You look like someone <clears throat> who could use a new sword! Oh, sweet! Look at all the weapons I'll never be able to afford. Look at this, baby! It's so cool! Ah, I see you set your sights on something special. Forged by the Elder Smiths of Darkwood, enchanted by the monks of the Silver Mountain, the Great Sword of Freezing! Great Sword of Freezing? You mean it actually freezes enemies? Why, yes, it does! Made of only the strongest magical metals. All you need to do is stab your enemy straight in the chest, pull the sword out, and wait a few minutes. I guarantee they'll never move again. <laughs> Wait, what? That sounds amazing! <laughs> and it can be yours for only 400 gold pieces. Oh man, I want one. How much food do I have right now? A wise choice. Wielding this blade would turn you into quite the warrior. Excuse me, can I take a look at that? Is that Vel? What's she doing here? Sure, miss. Be careful with that. Hey, Val. You into swords, too? Yeah, real ones. Unfortunately, this sword is fake. It's just made of plain old copper. He just painted the blade blue. I don't see how anyone could fall for this crap. <laughs> what? But it looks so real. W what? Are you calling me a liar, little girl? Did you just call me little? Listen here, you godless tosser. I've spent enough time around bloody blades to know a fake when I see it. What, what the hell are you talking about? These are made from the finest Eridium steel. Like hell it is. I could chip every single one of these swords with my teeth. Want me to show you? You, you can do that? 
Whoa, she's really doing it. See, this here's just a snack to me. A crappy one at that. And last time I checked, snacks aren't worth 400 gold pieces. Hell, I wouldn't even pay 50 copper for this shit. <laughs> I knew a sort of freezing was too cool to be true. <laughs> too cool. See what I did there? <laughs> Ugh, just stop. Well, well, what I said was if you stab your enemy in the heart with it, they'll never move again. It's not technically a lie. Want me to prove you wrong? This sword seems blunt enough. I bet I could stab you and leave you squirming for a good two hours before you die of blood loss. <laughs> okay, okay. No need to get violent, Missy. Uh, I'll just pack up my things and be on my way. That scheming rat. I can't stand people like that. Oh, that was pretty cool. She's kind of a badass. Ouch, my teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Now I've got metal bits in my mouth. Are you okay? Uh, why? Why do I do this to myself? I shouldn't have... Hey, you don't need to apologize. You just saved me 400 gold. I... Well, bye. So, that just happened. Okay, so did we get... Relationship uh, points with Val, too? But we don't get new options with her yet. Oh, Hey. That sucks. Um, we've got plenty of milk. We could actually buy something, I wonder. Hello. Please waste your gold here. A star compass, tarot cards, jewelry. I don't think she'd like any of this crap. Oh, I can sell stuff too. I can sell milk because people seem to be sick of it. So let's sell all of it. And then, wow, we got a lot of gold for that, actually. I mean, the only thing I could think that she might want would be the star compass? No, because it's for smart people. Sweet fruit. Creepy looking brimoire. I don't think anything. Okay, well, what can you do? We'll give her what a coat or something. Want? Here, let's try the flower. This? A gift? Oh, she didn't like it. She didn't like flowers. Well, we tried something. Um, let's go to the barracks and train, I think. Oh, we got a lot of, uh, events that happened today. Time That's pretty cool. Some squirly gains. Mm. Oh, so, so tired. Okay, so we got that done. It's five o'clock. Still got a little bit of time, actually. It would take two hours to get to here. I guess we can go talk to Giselle. What's she doing out here? What a weirdo. Oh, the only thing we've got is this toad. Interesting. I accept. She likes the toad. <laughs> Four points. We got five points for that. That's hilarious. Okay. Now that we've been making progress, get any. Sometimes, the forest. What about the forest? Rare herbs. Good for research. What a coincidence! I also go there every now and then. Alone? Well, you comes along with me sometimes. I thought as much. <laughs> hey, I carry my weight. I'm sure you do. Jeez, are you being sarcastic? Sometimes I really can't tell with you. I'm never sarcastic. W wait, that also sounded... <laughs> Damn it! You're one tough nut to crack. She is, isn't she? Alright, so we got some... 14. Let's see here. Not quite time to go home, but there's not much else to do. I don't know if we can actually talk to... Oh, she's gone. Okay, well. Oh, here she is. What can I do for you? Oh, yeah, it looks like we can. Gifts? Hey, sis. What kind of stuff do you like? What? We've been living with each other for years now. Shouldn't you already know? Should. 
don't, though. Well, people change over the years. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> Fine. Fruits, bro. I love fruits. Yeah, interesting. I love the feeling of sinking your teeth into something fresh. Imagine all that juicy goodness. The best time to eat them is right before they're ripe. That way, there's a nice sour kick to the flavor. Actually, I snatch some pears from our orchard every now and then. Don't tell Dad, okay? It'll don't tell Dad, okay? It'll be our little secret. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so there the what's her name? Serene. Serena sells some fruit, so we can get fruit and give it to Amy if we want. Now we know. Okay, so that's it for this episode. We're gonna rest. We're gonna save. And then on the next episode, we will try and do another campaign for sure. Because we got to generate some more monies. But uh, we might first try and get our strength up by one point. We experienced a lot of uh, events today, actually. That was awesome. So thanks for joining me in this one. And I'll see you on the next.